he like oh he worked with so I I did the Drew Hill. Um, and what did you do with Drew Hill? I worked on their last album. I did three records on there. Okay, uh, did, by yourself or did you did you? Do? No, I, I produced them. Okay, so so when you um so what what are the tracks that you did with them? Um, I did <clears throat> Making Love, which I wrote and produced. I did the whole record. I did uh, Can't Stop, which was written by uh, my cousin in Nokio. Nokio is a great writer. I used to be on the Nokio too. Okay. And I did, uh, what's the other one I did? Can't Stop. If You Fall, which was written by Nokio. Okay. It's 4 a.m. I'm leaving you this message to let you know that. I'm sitting there watching this movie and it's got me thinking about you. No more thinking about her. Come on. Girl, you got me thinking about your love. So many things I want to do to you. So much pressure sticking out of me. It's coming out of me and I need to be inside. Can't wait 
And um, and how did did any of those get released? Any of those three get released? Yeah, got released. And um, my name, man, my name was on every record about five times. Like, right? wow. I was engineering, recording, producing, doing the vocal order, doing the talk about writing. Like, and then after the Drew Hill, what else? What what did you get to do next? After Drew Hill, I think I did. Uh, Tony Terry. <laughs> After Tony Terry, I did. What did you do, with Tony? Because I'm, I'm always work with Key Sweat. I'm actually at Key Sweat place right now. Okay, but what did you do with Tony? Because I'm 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 gonna be speaking with him, you know, in a, in, a, in a couple of days. So so we're interested to have find out. I did dance for hours, and I be forgetting, man. Like some of the success of the work of the work that I've been done. Like dance for hours on the R&B charts for. Oh, wow. I'm quite sure when you talk to Tony, he can tell you all the, how long, like, I be trying to just move on to the next thing, not get arrogant and all that stuff, but I forgot about that, man. That was on the R&B charts for a while. Oh, uh, what song was that? It's called Dance for Hours. Dance for Hours, okay. You said you want to spend some time with me. I'm on my way. I'm gonna leave you Break it down on that Okay, and so, so how would who how how would people get to connect with you? How would they know know to get in touch with you for production and and stuff? They they know me for two things: for being Mujo's nephew and Teddy's nephew. Okay. Like that's the guy. He could do the talk box, the vocal, the blah blah blah. And then like I, when I another thing when I was younger, 
I used to come up with Mucho a lot, man, like by myself. And he had he had me uh, around everybody. Uh, Tricky Stewart and, and, and Tab, his writer at the time, he had me around like Soleil and Genuine. Like I was everywhere he went, I was in. I was there. Okay. So, yeah. And so. I was with Teddy. I started being the guy. Uh, he's Teddy the guy that can do the talk about just like him on the vocoder. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Teddy used to brag on me. Now, there's one thing he did just do. He used to brag on me a lot. Wow. But people would come back and tell me. He would never tell me, but people would tell me. Okay. And so that, that was opening doors for you? Yeah, even when it wasn't working, like, you know, it was like more of a uh, situation like Teddy trust this guy to come in and do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? So it became that situation even wasn't even when I wasn't working with him, like, oh, I got to work with him because Teddy allowed him to do this or Teddy trusted him to do this. So mm. it became that. So then, so you're, you're splitting up. So when you're doing production, like Tony Terry, Drew Hill, uh, and these are from us who are not in the music industry, do, is that a steady income? So the song gets released on a record. Do you then think, well, now I can, this is really, this is, this is it? Or? All of those records, I'm going to put it like this. Even though, like, I wasn't a millionaire or nothing like that. But all of those records that I named that I produced, they got so much airplay and all that stuff. They actually kept me from getting a nine to five. So it was, paying my bills and you know once you get a song even before you get the check from the sales the radio check that always come in first like those checks be crazy and it, it, it be like a lot of my friends that had regular jobs and stuff like that like some of my checks because I, I I didn't have a publishing deal so that means I get a publishing check one month and a writer's check my check be more than sometime where they probably made five or six months wow so those songs they took care of me so then does that make you hungry then to um to really start working getting perfecting your craft getting the hits because I, i'm just wondering now if i was a producer and i'm like if i get this track that's on the radio that really stays there i know what the income is so i'm, I'm gonna really work hard so i can get my stuff you know timberland puts out a track you know it's going to stay on the radio because he just has a way of making beats and making songs. And I think Pharrell and the Neptunes had that sort of ability in the past as well. Did you then, oh, yeah. was that the hunger to, to try, like, you know, I need to start working, find something new? Um, That's a little fraction of it, but for the most part, I just knew that I didn't have the hit that I wanted and I needed. I, I, like, far as my dreams and stuff like that I want to be known I want everyone not just you know a few people who's familiar with Teddy or Mucha like I want to be the guy that's known for giving you some good music and I want I want to always be able to work and make money from my craft so like what kept me going was was me all of that stuff was fine it wasn't enough. I never got too happy about the things that I was doing. I didn't lie to myself. You know what I'm saying? So um, my grandma, God rest her soul, wanting to take care of her and, you know, give her everything. You know what I'm saying? Give my mom that. My, I had a brother and sister that I helped my mom take care of when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? When we all was younger, I was, I would do things to help my mom with them. So that kept me going like that was my drive like I ain't made enough money to take care of all these people that I love mm. yeah.